Hey everybody, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake, and today I'm going to talk about using the iMac as a graphic designer. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you already know that I'm a heavy Photoshop user, but that I use all the Adobe Creative Suite for different reasons. Uh, I use Premiere for editing these videos. I use After Effects for motion graphics and title sequences. Um, I use InDesign Illustrator for print work, etc. If you are going to be doing that type of work or are going to be doing a whole lot of different types of work, then an iMac can be a great solution for you as a graphic designer. It's not the only all-in-one computer solution, but it is one of the better ones. And there are a couple of reasons why. For one thing, the overall display is just amazing and it will work at nearly any angle um, as far as viewing. So that's great. The other thing is the display is great in terms of color calibration capabilities and its overall color accuracy with regard to doing print work. So I highly recommend it for that. Um, I do a lot of my video editing on the iMac lately just because it has a bigger screen, um, even though I do still use my Asus laptop from time to time for that. Um, when I'm doing my Photoshop videos in particular now, I use the iMac just because um, one, it allows me to um, do that in 1080p, whereas I had to do 720p just because of the laptop screen size. But the other reason is because for me doing the work itself, the crispness of the display is just easier to work on over a longer period of time. And that's gonna be really important for you doing your graphic design work. You're gonna be usually slaving away at this computer for several hours at a time a day. So it's important to have an accurate and crisp display that's easy on your eyes and you know isn't a pain to work with. The other thing is in terms of its performance capabilities, the iMac comes with a dedicated video card. If you're getting the 21 inch model, it's capable of holding up to 16 gigs of RAM. It's easy to upgrade where that's concerned. Um, the hard drive speeds are fine and the processing power is decent as well. The 27 inch iMacs are even better and can go up to 32 gigs of RAM. So this is a great all-in-one solution if you're a graphic designer. You can literally just take this out of the box, plug it in, turn it on, and get to work. There's really nothing else to it. What I will say is if you are doing a lot of graphic design and you're using this over a long period of time, you might wanna download um, some fan software control because by default, it's whisper quiet. And if you're you know, editing video or doing a screen recording or a screencast or something like that, maybe you want to be whisper quiet so that you can hear your audio and so that that stuff isn't going on in the background. But if you're just doing graphic design, I would say um, control the fan speed and crank it up so that you don't have to worry about your components overheating and breaking down over time. It'll just make your Mac last longer. It might be annoying to have the louder fan, but it's definitely gonna be worth it because you won't run into performance issues and your hardware will last longer. And with how much it costs, that's really important to look at. Again, you don't have to um, have a Mac to be a graphic designer, but if you're gonna preference a Mac, I would say that in my mind, the iMac is the penultimate embodiment of Steve Jobs' ideal of what a computer, as far as a personal computer, should be. Uh, it's already got the display included. The display is great. It works right out of the box without you having to plug anything else in, and you can do almost anything with it. So if you're gonna be creating stuff, this is the uh, computer that you know I would really recommend for that, especially if you're gonna be using it every day for long periods of time. But there are other great alternatives. Um, HP makes some really great all-in-ones as well, so you should definitely take a look at that. I think Asus is actually coming up with a new one later this year, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, and you know, just really look into it and do your research. But if you don't want to think about it, um, you could always go with the iMac. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other videos in my YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.